Welcome back. Today I'm talking about reading in English because if you want to go to school or work in English, you need to be able to read well. This video is the first in a series of videos about tips for reading better. And today's video is all about reading speed. How fast do you read in English? Today I'm going to talk about two things. First, why should you care how fast or slowly you read in English? And second, how to calculate your reading speed. In other words, how many words per minute do you read in English? So first, why is it important to know your reading speed? Who cares how fast or slowly you read in English? Your reading speed is important because your time is important to you. Your reading speed will help you plan your time and also you will know how to improve your reading speed. If you read slowly in English, you should know this because you will need more time to do your work. Most of my students read at about half the speed of native English speaking students. So that means that they need double the time to do the reading. But often when they finish the reading, they realize that they didn't understand everything and then they have to go back and read it again. So as you can see, your reading speed affects your daily life. Let me show you an example. In a psychology class, the professor assigns, for example, 25 pages of reading per week. The average English speaking student maybe needs two hours to do that reading, but English learners who read at half the speed will need four hours to do that reading. But then when they finish, maybe they didn't understand everything and they have to go back and read it again. So now we're looking at eight hours of reading time versus the two hours for the native English speaking students. So as you can see, your reading speed can affect your daily life. So the first step to improve your reading speed is to know what it is. You can't solve a problem if you don't know what you're working with. First, you wanna know what your reading speed is now, and then you wanna check it every two weeks or so to see if it improves. So to calculate your reading speed, you're going to follow these easy steps. Step one, choose an article to read. You want to choose something that's not too difficult and not too easy. The purpose of this is to calculate your reading speed, not to have fun or to read something super hard. Probably the best thing to do is to choose an article from the internet because you're going to need to find out the number of words in the article. Try to look for a website that doesn't have too many ads, and when you find an article that's just right for you, copy and paste the text into a document. If you paste it into Microsoft Word, you can look at the bottom left corner to see the number of words. If you paste it into a Google Doc, you're going to open Tools and then Word Count to see the number of words. Now that you've chosen something to read and you know the number of words, it's time to start reading. Open your phone and open the stopwatch. And when you are ready to read, click start on the stopwatch. When you finish, click stop on the stopwatch and you will see the time. It's a good idea to write it down just in case you forget it. Step three, you're gonna convert your time to a decimal. The reason for that is that you're gonna need to take your reading time and use it in a calculation, and you need to convert it to a regular number instead of minutes and seconds. So first, you're gonna round the seconds to the nearest five. If your reading speed is five minutes, 23 seconds, you're gonna round it up to five minutes, 25 seconds. If your reading speed is five minutes, 21 seconds, round it down to five minutes, 20 seconds. Next, you're going to convert those seconds to a decimal using this chart. These numbers are available in the description box below the video, so if you want to copy and paste them into a document to keep, you can. For example, if your reading speed is 5 minutes 20 seconds, according to this chart, 20 seconds is 0.33. So now your reading time is 5.33. Next, you're going to take the number of words and you're going to divide that by your reading speed. For example, if the article has six 
627 words and your reading time is 5.33, then your words per minute is 117.6. That means that you read about 118 words per minute in English. Step five, keep track of your reading speed. Make a chart and write down the date and your words per minute and try to track this every week or two weeks. If you practice reading every day or every other day, then you will start to see improvement. Try to check your reading speed every two weeks and write it down in your chart and try to see if your speed improves. If your speed doesn't improve, try to practice more. Be sure to check out my other tips for reading faster. And if you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe. This will help my videos to reach more English learners like you. Thank you and see you soon.